So it wasn't until I turned the camera on that I realized, forgot my freaking hat to, to put the thing on. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's whatever, it's chest day, we'll be fine. Um, your boy's feeling pretty good today. I'm fasted, I have no idea what this weight's gonna look like, as you guys probably already know. We are doing a way out today. Um, but you know, the main thing right now is like, looking at the physique and stuff, I was going back and looking at the, the pose that we did the other day. Uh, by the way, I did, you guys won't really notice. Let me, let me, let me explain. So I did not record yesterday's workout. It was a leg day. Uh, just because I'm what, for one, I'm really backed up on videos and I need to post those. Um, which honestly, I'm still behind one. So, uh, you guys still haven't even seen the workout before that. So I, like I said, we were backed up. I want to make sure we go, went ahead and got these out. So I, I went ahead and made a schedule for myself so I can go ahead and try and get better about uploading this stuff. Um, the weekends, I'm going to be a little bit more chill with uploads, meaning like I may not upload a couple, like one or two on the weekends, um, just to give me more time to kind of focus on, you know, editing, all, all the stuff that I'm trying to do. So, uh, I was just finding that I was just getting too, um, I was recording too much and not editing them and then just sitting on that content. And so this will help me just kind of divulge. I think I got a good routine kind of set up now with that. Um, but yeah, man, yesterday's workout was a leg day. We did really freaking good. Um, I might throw this in there. I may not, um, but I, I did 315 on squat for 12 reps, and I could have done more. That freaking high calorie day I had, cheat day, uh, multiple cheat day, I guess you could say. <laughs> but it, dude, the numbers went up there. I was expecting that weight to fall a lot heavier than it did, uh, and like that, like I said, the 12 was not a problem. Um, so yeah, we got we got a solid set there with that. It was definitely probably the most I've done with 315, and I, I feel like I could have gone for an easy 15. Um, I stopped early. I didn't let I didn't um, let the safeties do their job. I guess you could say, which I should have. Uh, I was just kind of shook at that. But anyways, um, it's gonna be a good chest day today. I've got a couple things in mind. I think we're gonna start off with actually some dumbbell incline press, uh, just because I haven't done those in a minute and. Kind of feeling it man kind of feeling those i used to rock those all the time i just haven't done them in a while um we might go ahead and throw in some dumbbell flies as well while i'm over there i don't know if i'll record those at all um might do some cable flies as well today we might stay away from the pec deck today because we've been spamming the fuck i always spam pec deck um i don't always i kind of just started that this year but i've been spamming pec tech i've been really enjoying that one um but a lot of incline stuff want to build out that upper chest and whatnot um i will know that as the week progresses and as we get closer towards the Tough Mudder, which is in two weeks, um, I'm going to increase the volume, decrease the weight, um, just preparing for that Tough Mudder. And then once Tough Mudder's over, we can kind of dwell back into just going all out, you know, because I won't have to, I won't have to like literally save energy because that thing is going to suck. I'm starting to think about it, dude. Like the, <laughs> the main thing about the Tough Mudder, man, is that it's going to be cold as fuck. I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't even think about it being October. Like this morning was like 50 degrees, right? There's gonna be ice, like ice water that I have to go through during that Tough Mudder. And then, you know, it's a Tough Mudder, it's mud. There's gonna be mud. It, dude, it's gonna be cold as fuck. <laughs> that thing's gonna suck. Plus it's gonna be, it's gonna take me at least an hour and a half to, I don't, plus the obstacles, maybe two hours to complete that thing. Um, so fuck. So that's coming up. I want to make sure we got that under control first. Um, but that's going to be super, super, super fun. So uh, I am looking forward to that. Quick trip to Nashville here in a couple weeks too. So I don't know. I was thinking about maybe doing a vlog for you guys on that. I don't know. Um, I don't want to be just occupied on my phone. It is supposed to be a slight like mini vacation. Um, 
you know, I prefer those over the big vacations. It just, I, I'm a workaholic. I don't like doing like a full week unless like I'm doing something big, you know, but this will be a good, nice little mini vacation for us. So I don't want to be just on my phone all the time, but I'll let you guys know. It'd be cool if we got something on there, maybe some shorts or something. But anyways, I'm rambling. Pre-workout's definitely kicking in. We're going on two scoops today. Uh, and yeah, so I feel like I'm pretty ready. Um, I am fasted for this weigh-in, so I am curious to see how this weight's gonna go, especially with me eating as much as I did the past couple days. Not past couple days, but um, you know, a couple days before that. Uh, past two days I've been good. So, and I've been drinking pretty good amount of water. I think we're good. I think we're good. I, I, I'm hoping somewhere around 220, but we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna go weigh out, get warmed up, and then I'll see you guys on the dumbbell incline press. So, warmed up, weighed out. This is the craziest one. I'm at 218.6. So I'm only 0.2 pounds heavier than my lowest weight. Two days after a cheat meal. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll fucking, I thought, dude, I'm telling y'all, I went crazy. <laughs> I went crazy on the fit. That's why I was getting frustrated the other day. It's probably, I guess it'll be the last video, you know, last vlog, uh, which, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, 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 I'm gonna, Keep what i kind of meant about that so like we're gonna try and change up the way we do these or at least the way i do it it may not look any different but um the way i record it's just gonna help me kind of get through the workouts and really give the intensity i'm wanting to but <clears throat> with these one of the things i'm going to be doing is lowering down the sets adding more exercises in so i can play around with stuff that i really like the get that squeeze and if I'm feeling something like a certain day like if I feel like a certain exercise is really giving me that squeeze I might throw in some extra sets there you know right now we're doing some uh incline dumbbell presses weights weights feeling pretty light uh right now I've only gotten like two sets and we're gonna get three more sets in um four if it's feeling good like I said we'll keep it up in the air uh but yeah let me get hyped up for this one and then we'll we'll get this in by the way rep range here is eight to twelve so that's what we're shooting for You like that little belly action? Better. I'm sorry, I'm acting weird. That was really light. Um, I think I might go for the hundreds. You know, I don't want to do 90s and wear myself out and then try hundreds. So go for hundreds. If I get eight, I'm happy, you know? And then if we need to go down back to 90 to do that. So yeah, I know I'm throwing around some weight here, but something I have to remind you guys, like whether you're your goals are fat loss, building muscle. Like, unless your goal is strength training, like you wanna get stronger, stronger, and that's like your main goal, make sure you guys aren't doing like so much weight that you can't get more than like five reps in. Like you definitely wanna be doing some kind of rep scheme of like eight to 12 with really heavy weight. Don't get me wrong, you know, that's why I've got these hundreds right here. But you wanna make sure that like, we're focusing on building the muscle, not just moving weight around. That kind of, that kind of mentality switch is really what's going to make the difference between you building that muscle, burning that fat and getting the body that you really want. So, you know, make sure you're doing everything with intention. Don't go in here just trying to make yourself feel good by lifting as much weight as you can. I want to drop the weight or not we got nine there's no way i was gonna get another one after that one. that was a slow slow set uh going back to what i said earlier don't just get caught up on like moving around weight you know i would rather hit 12 reps with that kind of intensity 
So I think dropping down to the 90s is gonna be a move. Yeah, I think this will be my last set with these. Um, I still wanna get in at least three more there, three other exercises. So if I do, you know, that would make four chest exercises. If I do five sets of them each, the first two warm-up sets, last two to three working sets, you know, that's a solid 10 to 12, you know, really good working sets. And I'll be happy with that. I, I was thinking about it. I might do some really high volume bench press, like flat bench to finish the workout out. That would be really cool, you know? So after these, probably gonna hit some, uh, honestly, some, some flat flies. And then I might do some cable flies. I might take you guys for some cable flies. We'll see. Uh, and then I think we'll finish out with that. That seems like a good way to do this chest day. I like that. Now, if you guys notice, like the energy and the output of weight I'm able to do compared to like literally last chest day, significant, right? Like that just shows y'all the mass difference that carbs make when you're lifting weight. Like that's why you need them. If you guys are trying to cut, you know, cut as much fat off, but build as much muscle as you can during the process, you need those carbohydrates. Like, do not cut your carbs out. Like, unless, you're, you, unless you don't mind to like, try and maintain muscle mass, you know, uh, rather than like try and build as much as you can or build that strength. But you, you need those carbs for these kind of movements, man, I'm telling you. We got 10. I'll take it. They're burning. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I think the burnout with the, uh, that's what we need to start doing, man. Last exercise be like a burnout, especially as like, as we cut, we may not have the strength to move a lot of weight, but we can burn out. We can burn out with anything, you know, body weight. So I like that idea. That's what we're going to do at the end, but I'm going to get these flies done real quick. And then I'll probably show you, I'll take y'all back out for the cable flies just to switch things up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna knock these out real quick. I'm only gonna get, this will be my second set of four. Um, cause I ended up doing six sets on the uh, dumbbell flies. Cause I just kept, uh, I kept playing around with the chair just hitting different, different variations. The chest is popped. Like that's without a doubt. I'm not having to worry about that. Um, just really wanting to send it home at this point. So the, uh, Main thing I'm considering is whether or not I'm going to do a pose at for y'all. I kind of do at the same time I don't. The main reason I want to is because it's only going to get worse from here. Glycogen is just going to get lower and lower and lower. I mean, it can only get so low too. I'm trying to actually get a little bit more of a flat kind of bench thing going here. There we go. This is like the one way I didn't hit it. And I'm really trying to focus on flexing muscle. I just feel like I still, I've got so much glycogen in there right now. I mean, just compared to what I'm used to. Uh, I need to utilize it. So pump the weight up and the next two sets are, I mean, honestly, I wanted to be struggling around eight. I was also thinking about the Smith machine. Like we, we really got to start getting those back in. Maybe next chest day. I don't think, that, I don't think it's going to happen today, but maybe next chest day.
man. A little bit less than that. I got like seven. A little bit less than that. Last one. Whew. After these, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That bench burnout, I think. Yeah, flat bench. I was thinking like maybe incline, but we already got an incline in today. I think we'll be fine. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Playing with me elbows. What was that in there? like an Irish accent? Now they're like it's starting to run low. I can feel it. Feeling less strong. Yeah, there's definitely something going on in my back that like, it's hard for me to get that kind of movement going. So I've talked to you about these guys, this kind of stuff a lot. It'll be easier to see what's going on once we're, we got all that fat off, which we're getting there. But see all this that I'm grabbing? That can't be there. I need to get that off. That's mission numero uno. But doing just some simple exercises with my back. Like that's why I was playing around with the fly variations. Like what's gonna help me, you know, hit it the way that give me the most contraction, you know? But anyways, I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for these uh, bench press, uh, not till failure, just to burn out. Uh, I guess you could say, we'll say till failure, but you know, failure is gonna be real estimated because I'm not gonna set up the rack. I'm just gonna do it at a regular bench. So, you know, if I fail, uh oh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. But uh, I'm just gonna use 135, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But we'll try and get like 135 for like sets of 20 and see what happens. All right, we're only gonna do three sets of this crap before I, uh, I burn out. Cause I, I can feel it. It's starting to get me a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, we might do a pose out after that. And then, uh, if I'm feeling up to it, like I have time, I might go ahead and get some more in, you know, but I'll just have to, we'll have to see how it feels after this is, this is going to get my ass. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try leaving this on for the first set. And I think it'll be fine since I'm going to be aiming right here. Shouldn't be a problem, but we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I think we'll go ahead and use a little bit more weight. So I'm doing sets of 20, so I think we can handle another 20 pounds. Okay. That was 19. I really don't think I could have gotten that 20. I wasn't gonna chance it like that, but what we'll do, drop the weight back down to 135. See if we can hit that 20 again. Oh. 
Oh, come on. One more. Ooh. Okay. 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 Let's go check the bomb. All right. Back in the cubicle. Maybe this will be our designated freaking uh, posing area for this gym. It's not bad. Nice and quiet. No people. Maybe I'll donate a fucking mirror. Who knows? Maybe I'll really will. <laughs> I might actually. Let me take this off though. Yeah, dude, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, maybe we will. Because also the lighting's like really good right here. So I could put it right there, make it a little bit easier for me. But is there anywhere I can actually put this where y'all can hear me? We're just going to set this down. Hopefully y'all can hear me while we pose. Back up a little bit. Uh, I feel like my shoulder. So I think the shoulders took a lot of... Uh, beating today too. You know, the chest is definitely, I can feel it, how swollen it is right now. So we can get a most muscular. I never do this pose. vacuum oh, man but yeah like can y'all see what I'm talking about with my back it's like it goes so much here that like I'm having I have a hard time actually getting that chest up you know what I mean so I'm working on a lot of different things I don't know if it's my lats like maybe my lats are stronger stronger horizontally like rowing compared to vertically so maybe that's what I don't know there's, there's so many things but like I said what's having making me have a hard time seeing is there's fat right here covering what's really like if I'm pinched in here or what but I'll tell you what the V taper is really really starting to pop and I, I gotta say I do feel like I got a, a crazy chest pump today so you know mission successful There's definitely a difference in my rotator cuff mobility. I, I don't know how to work on that. I need to talk to my brother about that. He's a physical therapist. He'll know. feel juiced up dude <laughs> I really do I'm, I'm loving it right now because like like I said this is not gonna last <laughs> it'll come back day before uh, tough mutter because I'm gonna carve up that day but uh, I feel like I almost need some yoga <sighs> I don't know. anyways good workout successful now all I gotta do for the rest of the day is keep moving, make sure I'm burning those calories, you know, just moving around. And uh, you know, obviously I'm hit, about to hit some cardio too, but staying on diet, you know. Wish I could have got a plan today. I think we'll save around 2,600 calories today. Like I said, as far as the weight goes, we're on track. So even more on track, <laughs> happy about that. But let me go get this cardio done and I'll see you guys in the car. Let's work out talk. All right, workout is done. We're back in the car now. Um, overall, that's about a two hour workout. So pretty happy with what we got done. Um, you know, I was complaining the last time about like how much time we were spending on the workouts. Now that I've like had time to deload for one and think about it, we're getting plenty of work in, you know, <laughs> like we're getting plenty done. Um, I think the main thing is just make sure that like you know, like we were talking about doing like burnouts at the end, especially while I'm cutting, I think that's going to be a huge thing. Um, 
because obviously we're not gonna be able to throw around as much weight. So that's gonna be something I try and remember is like every day in the workout with like a burnout of some sort, you know, that, that set to 20 really, like that pumped my chest up pretty damn good. So I had such a da damn good like chest pump today that like I have no complaints, literally whatsoever. It was a good fucking workout. Um, I need to wrap this up honestly so I can go home and eat because your boy's still fasted and it's like 3 p.m. So your boy needs to get some calories in. Uh, you know, after today, the only thing I'm going to do later today is like get some more walking in. That I told you guys after this last cheat meal, <clears throat> cheat day, cheat days, um, I was going to try and like attempt to stay like do like my obviously my 30 minutes of cardio in the morning like walking and then add an extra 30 minutes of cardio at night and so i did that last night um even if i say 30 minutes even if it's just like 15 minutes it's still going to be more you know so just trying to add more and more and more walking and stuff like that keep the uh muscle stimulated with these workouts and really try and get that pump going and then obviously stick to that if we stick to that plan man i think we can get another pound and a half of fat off of us before the tough mutter so if that's the plan i'm going to try and get an embody the day before we leave for the Tough Mudder. I'm actually still debating on what I'm going to do with that, but we'll see what happens. So anyways, I'm going to end this video for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for back day. Peace.